Gruesome Magazine. Hello, once again, I'm your host, Doc Rodden, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on-demand horror movies. Each week, my co-host, Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Christopher G. Moore, and myself, did I say names twice? It's Moores and Moores. Uh, we'll take a look at very spooky, scary, gory genre offerings. Uh, this week, we're reviewing We Might Hurt Each Other, streaming on... What is the streaming? Scream Box. Scream Box. Scream Box, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with me this week is my co-host, Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good to be here. Good to be here. Okay. Excellent. Hmm. Also joining this week is Crystal Cleveland, the Living Dead Girl. How you doing? I'm fabulous. 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 <laughs> All right. Also joining <laughs> is award-winning filmmaker, Christopher G. G. Moore. I'm doing well. Oh, God. No. Well, That's scary. I'm just, scared. Mm -mm. Like, Get out of my boat. Mm -hmm. um, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to review. The, yeah, okay. Quick it's a fact. mighty deep subject. We Might Hurt Each Other is Lithuania's first slasher film. Oh, so, it is their first. Okay. I knew they didn't have many. But yeah, is it really? Oh. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's, I was telling y'all. They don't. They hardly have. They have like I'm none. I'm going to research that. Well, but, uh, I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Mm -hmm. um, it goes by a couple names. We'll get to that here in a second. But what we're going to do is give you our first impression. Those first impressions will be spoiler free. Mm -hmm. uh, then we'll dive into the discussion. We'll get into spoilers. There's a few to be had here. Yep. And then we'll wrap things up with our score of one to five and our favorite scene. Mm. Yes. And of course, we hope you enjoy not only this review, but many others we have on the site. If you do, please hit the like, subscribe and share with a friend buttons. It's easy and free to do. And each click will help us find more horror fans just like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Before we get into the card, we just want to quickly share that we are celebrating 10 years, 10 Yay. years of podcasting with H&R, Gruesome <laughs> Magazine, Decades of Horror. Uh, we started back in April of 2013. Our first review was Evil Dead, the 2013 remake. Right, Chris? And then uh, we started celebrating uh, this year with uh, the review of Evil Dead Rise, which I find just a wonderful little nugget of details there. Uh, we'll be <laughs> celebrating all year long, and we'll uh, we'll conclude at, uh, in February of 2024 with our novel Brew Cruise. Uh, yeah, so go to uh, gruesomemagazine.com slash cruise and find out more about that. There'll be a link down below. It'll be three nights of horror and fun in the sun. <laughs> okay. All okay. right. Yeah. Enough of that. Let's get to the card. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we might hurt each other. 2023 Screenbox available streaming on Screenbox. How many times will I say Screenbox? Screenbox. July 11th, 2023. <laughs> the synopsis is: After classmates destroy life-size wooden folk art statues during a wild high school graduation party in the remote cottage, cottage, uh -huh, the myster mysterious killer starts picking them off one by one. Sometimes rather rapidly. Get to that. Directed by Jonas Trucanus, written by Jonas and Titus Lucius. I'm going to say that's what it is. It's a little long, but we'll go with it. Uh, the cast includes a whole bunch of names I'm going to mispronounce. And the alternate titles are <laughs> Pensive and Repinto Jealous. I feel like I'm off the mark, but we'll go with it, shall we? That sounds yes. good. Yeah. All right. Let's start off with <laughs> our first impressions. Jeff Morrison, what did you think of? <laughs> We might hurt each other. Hmm. Well, it took me a while to figure out the lay of the land, so to speak. Um, the relationships of the characters. One of the things, it's a, I found it to be very strange. <laughs> and I kept looking at things and it took a while for this party to get ramped up for a while. I'm like going, why were they so excited about this party? Because it no, nothing was happening uh, but w one of the things I liked is that you know to start off with it's kind of like my grandson used to always do when I was watching a movie every every character that came on he'd go is that a good guy or a bad guy 
Is that a good guy or a bad guy? <laughs> so I'm trying to figure this out, and I, I'll, for the life of me, I couldn't tell right off the bat. And I think that's one of the things I like about it is that none of the characters seemed all good or all bad. Um, and I'm sure you're get, somebody's going to correct me here, but uh, <laughs> that's the way it seemed to me. Uh, um, we get a fair I'm amount sure. of violence. Um, and also, I'm trying to think if there was, there was a couple of characters that I liked, but most of them aren't all that likable either. But anyway, um, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this other than, you know, I stayed interested. I was trying to figure it out. I kept trying to, you know, and the names were unfamiliar to us or to me anyway, so I kept trying to remember the names. I was writing their names down and trying to remember who was who and they were talking about somebody because it's a, you know, there's a, what, like eight people you should kind of remember their names and know who they are. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. Does, he, I, I, it, does it, he like it or does he dislike it? I, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, well, I, haven't, I haven't said yet. I, I stayed interested and it was weird. And I kind of liked it in the end and uh, how it ended. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that later. So I'm sorry. I'll shut up. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. Christopher G. Moore, you're up next. What was your first impression of? <clears throat> we might hurt each other. Um, I, I think... I, I, I didn't like this movie. <laughs> Let me just say that up front. I didn't really like it. I, I think I think from the get go, it didn't feel like real kids. And I'm sure we could always say, oh, well, maybe it's the translation thing or maybe it's because I'm disconnected. But it just didn't seem like real people. And they, they're all very cookie cutter, tropish <laughs> in their specific characters. <clears throat> you don't really learn a lot about them. And I think as it plays <clears throat> out, it, it kind of has that element of bodies, bodies, bodies that I hated, which is just unlikable <clears throat> characters, especially the, the the main character that's sort of like you're supposed to be your protagonist, but <laughs> then you're oh, like, it's... why am I why am I following this character? Because I don't like this character. Um, and just some of the interactions at the very beginning just didn't seem real, realistic. And I, I mean, you know, with movies, of course, realism sometimes goes out the window, but at least you have to have some kind of <clears throat> characters that make sense of what they're doing and then they go <laughs> come out to this place and doesn't have like i was like where are they getting water running water from i mean i mean it's, there, it's like it's, it doesn't seem like kids a day would do that maybe it's because maybe it's a lithuanian thing maybe that's what it is but i don't know i think as it played out it's i just got kept getting it's a me thing probably if I get annoyed with characters, I kind of my brain turns off, and I was like, I was, I'm rooting for the killer by the end because <laughs> these kids just, do, you know, all these different characters just need to be killed off off the screen. Um, but I give them props for doing something a very unlikable scenario, especially by the end. Uh, that that I don't would be hard to pull off. I think in an American film because people would be really mad. So you know, so I think with this being Lithuania's first slasher film at least they're doing something a little bit different um but overall i i just i found it to be very uh very slow and and methodical they don't really explain a lot of things i mean they they give elements here and there um you know and they almost kind of make it without being spoilers they almost make it like it's supposed to be more supernatural but then it feels <laughs> <laughs> it goes other ways, I guess. But um yeah, so I don't know. I I I, I mean uh, other than a few one really great kill that I really enjoy, <laughs> um, I, I didn't really like a lot of it because it didn't really make a lot of sense and then by the end it's like why did I watch this movie the way it plays out? Mm -hmm. So that, that's but but maybe it's just me. No, it might be. Who knows? We'll find out. Crystal. What was your first impression of we might hurt each other? So um, <laughs> there isn't a protagonist. And I can't even call him an anti-hero because you no, can't he's... root for him at all. He's like he's 
Definitely. <laughs> just an answer. So Christopher is right that there are really no real likable characters. I mean, I guess maybe the friend. I don't know. They're all kind of shits. So <clears throat> it's shot well. Um, the story is, yeah, it, 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 they seem, they seem, they don't look young, but they seem younger than what they should be for graduating, you know, in the way that they're going to this like abandoned house or, or this house that's a real estate, some real, whatever. It just seems very immature all around. Um, they kind of, they mislead you in, in a sense with the supernatural side of this whole wooden statue thing. And I, that's upsetting. I, I was really kind of pushing for that. And I kind of like the whole idea of that. I feel like, yes, I get it. Cause if this being the first slasher, it makes a ton of sense because I think they were trying to do too much in this film. I feel like they kind of wanted to go with this weird supernatural side and show off this, but then they wanted it to be real. And so I, I, I think a little bit more focus would have made this a lot better. It's it's an insult slasher, as I mentioned off screen, which is wild. Honestly, I kind of liked that part of it. I think I found it funny at the end. I was laughing. I was like, really? Wow, you you did something totally different here. Um, yeah, I. Uh, now, can would I say I liked it? Eh. That might be too far, but I didn't dislike it. I, I, it was interesting because I was curious as to where the film was going. So it kept, it, it kept my interest. Kept your interest. Mm -hmm. I would, I would agree with that. It kept my interest as well. <laughs> I, in the end, I don't know if I truly liked it, but I agree with you, Crystal. I didn't necessarily dislike it. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it did do something uh, unique. Uh, with its its protagonist, its protagonist with air quotes, uh, because it's uh, it, it's not, <laughs> and there yeah. isn't really. Uh, but at the same time, I I did get to know like the core characters uh, and their relationships, and um, you know the you got your two friends, and you got the girls that they like, and then you got the jock, and you and you got the druggy guy, and you know basically your stereotypes. Uh, but they do twist a little bit on a couple of them. And then there's a, uh, I don't know, I kinda, the, the, there's a, an ending that if you're watching Yellow Jackets, it kind of plays parallel to that. <laughs> a little bit of a surprise on, a, on the side of a cliff. But I, once it got to where this weird slasher guy showed up and the, how he was going to, uh, we'll, we'll get into the spoilers, basically how he was going to go about doing what he needed to do. It, it was kind of like, well, sometime something's going to happen. <laughs> We're going to wait for it. And it did. Um, and there was a, there were a couple of really interesting shots inside the cabin when the, the killer's attacking. And he's going, you know, just entirely ape shit on everybody. And I enjoyed how they approached that. Um, I, I, the, the whole party out in the <laughs> out in the wilderness didn't bother me because... I, I grew up in Appalachian Mountains, and that's exactly what we did. We'd go out okay. into, into <laughs> we didn't go out to a cabin, but we'd go out into you know somebody's valley and you, you, you and, well use your cool. Um, so it, it's not like I, it, it didn't seem that foreign to me. <laughs> it was straight. Uh, and then the ending, I, I'm I'm still undecided about the ending. Ending the very final shots about what happens. And I, part of me really likes what they did, and the other part wants to throw a beer bottle at the TV. So I'm not really <laughs> sure how I feel. I'm, I'm of two minds. So uh, let's get into some spoilers, shall we? Uh, we go. Let's start off talking about what brings us on. We we basically have this sh this shit of a character that we're following, and and his <laughs> his desire. To, he he his desire. To yeah. Fit in. He, he's basically an outsider. He wants to fit in. And he 
he can't. He's just not able to. And and by the end, um, he had an opportunity to fit in somewhere. <laughs> he took. He didn't take that. That's interesting too. That's what uh, I'm saying. He didn't fit in because he chose not to fit in. Right. Right. Like I, at first, I just thought maybe he was a quiet one, and you know, just a little bit more. You know, had some social anxiety. No, he's just a jerk. Yep, he's yep. he's egotistical and he's a jerk. Like, yep. and he can't stand. Uh, I well, just well, he's, he's jealous. Ugh, he's jealous of everybody. He's, because, he's jealous of everybody <laughs> because his father even likes the 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 athlete born. Jealous him. of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's jealous yeah. of everybody around him actually. But anyway, they they get to this this, <laughs> this cabin and all around it, and they find the the wooden. Um, uh, statues, effigies, whatever they are, the there's wooden statues, and they start just dis- disrespecting them. If you one way to put it, right? They start you know knocking their heads off and setting them on fire and doing all sorts of really gnarly things to them um, out of uh, fun of partying, like irresponsible shits that they are. And this sets off whoever made them. I guess he made them to uh, start yeah. enacting his revenge, and in the revenge he tries to off them the same way they disrespect the statues, which I thought was interesting because we knew somebody was going to get their head taken off. So, <laughs> um, but it, I will admit it takes a long time getting to when he yes. shows up and that is to the detriment. It needed to get a little more mm-hmm. in the middle somewhere along the way we need the, but I, I don't know. So somebody take over and spill some beans well, here. Well, all that beginning stuff, like, could have been totally cut because I didn't care. Mm-hmm. Like, they're at that place where they're about to leave and stuff, and it's kind of long. And then there's just people, like, giving dramatic looks, like. And I'm like, okay, I'm just, what? let's just, let's just kill. Well, I it guess just, the, it's just what like, the beginning what? did for me is he's. <laughs> He's telling them that he's not going to go, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and w- Mari, Marius, our our antagonistic protagonist, our antagonist, yeah. the protagonist. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. But he, uh, but then he hears his mother telling somebody that some cabin she's trying to get somebody to buy uh, that they're not going to buy it and they're going to put the key under it. So he knows this cabin is going to be. Uh, empty so it isn't that he didn't want to go it's that he wouldn't have been the center of attention so now he finds a place and he gets all excited that he can be the hero because the original place they were going to go got all screwed up so that i and he got the one up the the uh the athlete guy the the big athlete because he was mm -hmm. the one who screwed up the place so yeah, he the, but, uh, yeah, he got one up on him. You mean? Yeah. yeah, who was who was with the girl that he wanted? That you know, yeah, the blonde chick. Yeah, <laughs> kind of smile at him once I, in a while. And, I will uh, say that her when she finally comes clean about how she feels was a highlight. <laughs> that was oh her, yeah, was like, totally. I was, like, I was like bury that dude, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, was, I don't there think. Was a place. I don't, I don't think she actually like really disliked him until he acted like that though. Like what is wrong dude? I think that was more of a response to how he was acting. I mean Yeah. yeah. And I, I think I think for me, I think and maybe I've just you know, because I think a lot of times when you have a character like a meek type character, especially in horror films, they usually have some kind of arc where like, okay, you know, I'm gonna I've always been meek and shy, and not able to do this. I'm going to fight back and now I become the center of attention. But here you have this character who's like probably the most selfish character in any slasher I've seen in a very yeah. seriously out of power. control. Like very selfish to the point like I'm I don't care about all these other characters. I just want to save this one character. I don't care about your girlfriend even though we know that we know she's alive. I just care cuz we have these people in this boat. It's like holy <laughs> shit, dude. I was I like know. What, what, how when is he this tried to stop good? his friend, when he tried to stop his friend from saving, I was like yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's dead. Oh, wow, dude. I saw her. I saw wow. Her. So Lord, you know? Piece of like, poo. Yeah, and, and he's the uh, quickest one to run away, too. He's such a coward. Right. Yeah. And, and, right. and is, he, when somebody needs help, he hides behind the door and the guy, yep. everybody sees him and he doesn't come out to help. That's gross. And I, was, um, I will say, his, his friend is probably the nicest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The friend. Right. Because mm-hmm. he went back and said, and then 
tried to help him out and it's yeah, like right. and then end up getting himself uh, dead by the end in the process so it's like so yeah, i guess that's the annoying thing right? so, yeah yeah mm-hmm. so, so it's like and then like uh yeah so it, it's just this I, is the, I think the... i kind of i, I, yeah, I, I just will... hate a characters like that it just annoy yeah. the f out of me to where it's like i why am i following this character that i hate so much i know just getting away with, away with all this shit and all these people are dying that he's the one that deserved to die because he's mm-hmm. like he's the most selfish out of everybody. Yeah. I will say I, I will admit that I like the ball headed druggy character. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of liked him too. Just because he was so out of he it. He was and, crazy you know, was, though. Was, like, uh, okay, that dude never would have like graduated or whatever come on well maybe just to get him out of the <laughs> he is <laughs> so all right he was so up, gone <laughs> he's like from train like... spotting or something yeah. <laughs> oh my God. you know and then him popping up like hello cool you out of deep blue sea yeah. and i was like really <laughs> yes <laughs> the one that's yeah. the most they're all be the most unconscious throughout the whole movie it's so he's weird up, is yeah the one that kind of survives and then, and then there's come you know the way they the way the killer deals with him <laughs> Is is hilarious, and the fact. Oh that God! Had, the fact Ew! That, and the fact that he didn't Ew. die, and he's like, and he goes. Everybody's like, he's. Ugh, so, it's so gross. That that almost it's like the worst. was enough to win me over on this movie because I thought he was hilarious. Well, yeah, that well, was funny see, though. And, and you were talking about wanting to throw something at the TV screen half the time. Mm-hmm. That the car scene is what drove me nuts when they they find the car keys and they sneak out and they get into the car. And then, set it off. Well, well, they set off the alarm, and then they're all inside the car, and they're all screaming all at once. And then the camera pans back, and that car's not going anywhere. It's parked bumper to bumper. Yeah, with some other cars. No, I'm like, they're idiots. What idiots. The <laughs> and then the person is like, "I don't know how to drive a stick." <laughs> and I'm going, it's like, Whoa. I'm I'm screaming at the television, going, "What a bunch like of stressful. effing idiots!" Yeah. yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. you know, Although well, it did, it did pay off for it the did. audience, though. It did. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I will say that that the way they shot that, where the camera just rotates, was a really great looking shot. And I think that's probably yeah. the one, one good thing that I can say about this film is it is shot well and mm-hmm. scenes like that really work well um, from the you know the point of view. Like I think Doc, you mentioned it when he's in like the closet, you see him killing all the people in the room and I, I think it did, does go a different way than a lot of slashers do because he's just like he just it, it'd, be, yeah. it'd be it'd be like uh, one of the jason movies if he just like killed a bunch of kids all at the same time because i was like dude this guy is not he's not taking his time and just going at one after one after another no, no, it, he, it's like there's literally a whole room full of dead bodies yeah <laughs> They just if they they were all red shirts and they all died right away. <laughs> yeah, but I did like like there was a shot inside the cabin where one character ran from one room to the other, and you could see the the killer going from one room to the other on the other side of the house, and just people dying and stuff. And blood squirting on. The, I, yeah. I, I will I will like say kill wise when he takes that girl's head and puts it on that shard of glass. Oh my like, god. Yes. Uh, yeah. Was like, yes. yeah. That is one of the that best were, kills that. I've seen this year cuz I was like, "Oh god, that looks Ouch. <laughs> that looks mm-hmm. real." <laughs> okay, let me tell you, her dress was heinous. Hell? Why would they oh, put her that? It was so distracting. Like when she when especially do you remember did you notice that too, Jeff? Like yeah. it was I'm like this big out, poof ball and I'm, I'm like, say, "Look, is she really heavy or is this just a screwed up and dress I, that makes her look that way or is she I, you know i don't know but i all i know was like it was so distracting you'd never want to put your characters in wardrobe that is going to draw the attention away from the scene and all i all i would see is this big pink poof ooh, ball ooh, ooh. i was like what like a, i was well, it's like well it, it was kind of weird because you know, everybody else i don't know where they I don't think anybody else was dressed up weirdly other than yeah. the DJ dressing as a nun. But I was like, she looked like she was dressing for like a bad prom or something. Yeah, and, horrible. and that's not something you really want to wear out in the middle of the, <laughs> the forest I know. either. So weird. <laughs> it was her graduate. And then the way they graduated. Now I'm going back to the beginning, but that there's that something wrong weird. with that principle. Oh, I that mean, principle. Yeah. It was like, yeah. She well, was, that, that an annoying she thing when they're taking pictures, that one guy. <laughs> taking pictures and the one guy kept, just, what are you doing? 
Like, you don't no. deserve to be a basketball player because you don't even know how to do press correctly. <laughs> pitcher, right? <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's give our uh, score one to five and our favorite scene. Hmm. Uh, Jeff, Moore, you're up first. Hmm. Ooh, I got to go first. Well, I can't. Steal the best. I'm going to say stuff that you guys said. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm giving this a three. I, I'm glad yep. I watched it, but I'm kind of. Uh, it, it was annoying, but we, you know, as we're talking about it, I'm kind of having fun talking about it too. So anyway, that, that's my. Uh, I'm glad I watched it. Number um, <laughs> favorite scene. Oh, Doc. Oh, Christopher. <laughs> take it. Take what you want. Take it. Um. Well, I'm trying to decide. I, I'm going to take the. Uh, the push off the cliff. Oh, yeah. You got mine. It was, it was really surprising to me. It was, uh, and it was so quick, you know, it was just like, boom. <laughs> but not, but not unexpected. I was no. like, what is she doing? <laughs> I know. What does she think is going to happen? She so, wants to die. Uh, anyway, that's my thing and I'm sticking to it. But there's a couple other I could have named, but you guys yep. could have them. I like that too. All right, Christopher, score. Favorite scene, sir? Um, I'll give it a mid rating. I'll give it a two and a half. Okay, fair. fair. Um, I only give it that because of <laughs> because of my favorite scene, which was the head, <laughs> the head being where they don't cut away. The head just getting like, he just presses down really slowly on this shard of glass. And it's like, oh my God, <laughs> that's so horrendous. <laughs> uh yeah and then just some of the visuals as well i think it's shot well and i you know and i will give them props if it's the first slasher film in lithuania then um, mm -hmm. at least they did something different instead of something that's just copycat of everything else even though characters annoyed me af yes yeah, so. they, they and yes they certainly did <clears throat> Paula, your score your favorite scene okay i'm gonna give it a, a 2.75 okay um and my favorite scene is when she's swimming away from him and she's like, the psycho doesn't touch you because he finds you boring. <laughs> like, that was so awesome. Because even he finds yeah. you boring. I was like, yes, yes. And I loved that she was strong and that you could see the anger. And then he, Rah! see, still, she didn't give him what he wanted. She just, she, she, she jumped off that boat and then just told him, she just like, it was good. So that was a good scene. Mm -hmm. It was her whole. That was, that although, was the most mm -hmm. inappropriate conversation. Ever. Although that she was so weird. No, <laughs> it didn't, didn't really end, end very well for her. Though. No, no. I know. Very, very mm -hmm. crispy. Very crispy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's again, it was she set the one on fire. So that's. There was yep. a theme. There was a theme. They, they thought of it. All right. I, I'm going to give this a three as well, Jeff. Um, okay. I, 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 I like what Jeff said. This was like I'm glad I watched it. The score, I, it, it was it was fair. I, I think it would, you know, if you'd like the characters, it could have been a little better. But uh, maybe it's lost in translation. Maybe not. I don't think so. I don't think in this case it is. Uh, my favorite scene. I, I'm going to go to the one I've mentioned a couple times. Uh, it was going to be the off the cliff thing. I was trying not to mention it so I could have that in my pocket. But <laughs> um, so I'm going to go. <clears throat> So I'm going to go with the when the killers in the in the cabin just go into town and you just get these really interesting shots, uh, cinematic cinematic shots where you know like they go from one room to another, and then he's in you know in the background going from one room to the other and you can see okay, what he's see, doing. And that just frustrated me. I'm like, not a single one of you. I mean, you have a group of people all afraid, overwhelm right? him, I, I, like overwhelm cars, him. Cars. It's like, that's, yeah, that was horrible. That was ugh, gross. Then they, you know, they the I know you're going to die, but die fighting. Just <laughs> come on. They, they, died, like, they all died running. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Although, I, you know, <laughs> the, the one guy is just like, <laughs> he just didn't care about anything. The the ball headed drunk guy. I, I don't know oh, what his yeah. name is, but he was he was a treat. All right, well there you go. That's our reel of We Might Hurt Each Other. It's streaming on Screenbox. 
So uh, check it out and let us know what you think. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Did we miss some subtle things? Or probably did we give it but... too much credit? I don't know. It could be any of those. <laughs> Uh, but we'd love to hear from you. Leave some comments down below. Crystal, Christopher, Jeff, sir. Thank you for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. See you Another next reason time. not to go in the woods. No, no. Do we, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's always bad. Don't do it. All right. Let's get out of this. Uh, say good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. <clears throat> Some magazine.